everyone, it's Jasmine, and I'm gonna do a little story time or a little um, just experience video. Um, it's a really random video, but I like doing these videos just because people do find it. You're so loud! <laughs> what are we gonna do our next YouTube video, huh? Pronto, pronto. Huh? Muy pronto, Melissa. The people want to see you. All right. Let okay. Close my door. Is my experience thing? with my conch. Okay. And this is the conch. This is the conch. There we go. And this is what the back looks like. I've gotten so many piercings before. This is my favorite, my date. My date piercing is my absolute favorite. And then I have the rook. And I have the tragus right here. So I'm no stranger to piercings. I fucking love piercings. I don't know if I can swear or not. I freaking love piercings. Um, I wanna get more. I've done a lot on this side, so I kinda wanna decorate um, some of my card cartilage up here. I got this done in like so December, and it is like mid-May. It's been like almost six months now. And this thing still, hurts and it's still healing okay and I know it takes like a year before you're completely safe but not that's not the case for every single piercing and not and it's not the case for everyone um, I'm really tolerant of pain really able to handle pain well hurt the most the conch the conch the pinch like when it pierced I don't have any videos or any footage or anything but when she pierced this and she's a pretty good piercer it did hurt, it did sting and hurt, and there was a lot of pressure. And it's still uncomfortable. My gosh, this house can never be quiet. It was really, really uncomfortable sleeping with this. Also, I had um, the piercing where it's just the earring and the back stuck out when I first got it pierced. And whenever I would tuck my hand, um, hand behind my ear, touch my hair, style my hair, take a shower and like try to wash behind there, I would always forget and I would hit it and it would hurt like hell. Um, and then I got the the jewelry changed to like the infinity circle. And it's it was it was a lot better. I feel like I like the circle a lot better than the regular piercing, but it still was really infected, was really painful gooey and leaking all the time and just hurt a lot with my day it healed so fast i feel like it was the easiest it was a hard place for me to get into so i couldn't really play with it and bother it so it just healed really quickly it didn't hurt it didn't get infected my my tragus and my rook were kind of similar they did take a little while to heal but it wasn't painful too painful or too uncomfortable especially sleeping with it because you just can't touch these piercings. Um, but eventually they did heal up and they did get better and everything. But I feel like this one is so uncomfortable to sleep with because when you press your ears back and you're laying on your head and on your pillow like this, it just pushes the ear back and it really hurts. Right now it's fine, but it's still I still feel like a lump back here. It's still healing. It still gets infected and red. Um, I had a huge like bump right here and it was bleeding and it was gross and it was disgusting but now it's finally gone and I feel like I shouldn't even be touching it right now because I feel it getting hot and red and getting really you know so usually when I get piercings to heal them and to clean them up I take a filtered water and a little bit of Himalayan salt and make like a salt water mixture so it could be natural and usually it's worked with all of my piercings but again I, I usually stop after three months because I, I feel like the 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 piercing is fine and with regular water and regular bathing and cleaning it should be fine um, but but it still did get infected and it still got bumps and everything but I just let it be try not to touch it just try to um, clean it up at night and let it be I've tried alcohol in the past with like my, my tragus I used to get so many I think it's keloids 
Is it keloids? I used to get so many of those bumps, even like a year after my tragus piercing. This was annoying to heal too, my tragus. Um, just because I would always touch and it's just there to touch. I feel like if it's more easily touchable, then it just gets gets really infected and just takes forever to heal. Especially me because I'm always touching. Um, I remember I put tea tree oil, um, witch hazel, alcohol, all those things. And I feel like they just made it worse because it was too strong and too much, too intense. So I feel like you just use the salt water for like three, four months and then just let it heal and just clean it up at night when you're in the shower and just don't touch it. So that's pretty much my experience. Um, I hope that after the full year, it usually they usually say it takes a year for cartilage to heal. After the whole year, I hope that it's fine and I can move on to another piercing because I usually like to do one piercing at a time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my experience video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know what piercings you guys, you guys have gotten, what you would like to get in the future. I definitely want to get um, more cartilage up here and my forward heel legs. Um, I think that's it. Maybe one up here too. Bye!